It was a season that nobody saw coming. The 2014-2015 season for Ohio baseball was one where expectations were to improve from the 11-win season prior. Coach Rob Smith's third season surprised everyone in the Mid-American Conference, and for good reason. In 2014, the Bobcats finished second to last in the MAC and neared the bottom in every statistical category. The Bobcats dealt with injuries and were optimistic to improve during the 2015 season. Well, obviously, we'd look to, to have some marked improvement from the first two years. I think there's been some, some positive changes that we've made this year in terms of our roster. And the Bobcats return key performers in senior Jake Madsen, sophomore Mitch Longo, and senior Tyler Wells. But nobody could have expected what would happen with this Bobcats team. Ohio would storm out of the gates to a 21-7 non-conference record, including wins at Kentucky, their first SEC win since 1997, and a season sweep of rival Marshall. The Cats won 20 of their last 30, sweeping three MAC teams and finishing MAC play with a 17-10 record. That success would translate to awards as well. Two Bobcats would sweep player and pitcher of the year. Senior Logan Cozart broke out during the year in the lockdown role for the Bobcats out of the bullpen. In the rare occasion that a reliever won the award, finishing with a 7-1 record with 13 saves over 71 innings pitched. Sophomore Mitch Longo became the second Bobcat to win a player of the year by building off an injury-shortened freshman year with an impressive campaign hitting 357 with seven home runs and 49 RBIs. The surprising regular season for the Bobcats got Ohio back in the MAC tournament for the first time since 2012 as a three seed. The Bobcats started the Mid-American Conference tournament against six seed Bowling Green. The Falcons won the season series against the Bobcats at Bob Wren Stadium, and Ohio felt they had to get out to a quick start. I think we're set up. We win the first game. We got a lot of momentum going into it. And I don't know about that. Hopefully we take care of business. The green and white did not get off to a start that they would have liked. Ohio's new hit king, Jake Madsen, got the bats rolling in the bottom of the first as Madsen had an RBI single to tie it up. Junior pitcher Jake Miller kept the Falcons grounded the rest of the way, throwing the first complete game of Ohio's season. Miller only allowed one earned run and struck out seven. The bats kept rolling in the third. Cody Gartner drew a walk, bringing in a run, and Tyler Wells followed with an RBI single to put the Bobcats up 4-1. The Bobcat bats kept on going as Garrett Black brought in two more runs to extend Ohio's lead to 6-1. To end the game, the Falcons scored an unearned run, but it wasn't enough as the Bobcats moved to the winner's bracket on a 6-2 win. In round two, the Bobcats met the seven-seed Western Michigan Broncos, who upset two-seed Kent State. Game two became one of the most dramatic finishes you will ever see. The Bobcats trailed 1-0 after an inning, but Ty Black hit an RBI single to tie it up in the second. Pitcher Jake Rudnicki kept the Broncos off the board until the sixth inning where Western Michigan threatened with a runner in scoring position and one out. Pitcher of the year Logan Cozart was summoned from the bullpen and retired the side. Both teams went quiet offensively and the game had to be decided in extra innings. The Broncos threatened in the 10th inning with one out and a runner in scoring position, but a leaping grab by Mitch Longo at the warning track saved the game for Ohio and gave the Bobcats a chance heading into the 11th. After eight scoreless innings, Ohio needed an offensive spark and got just that in back-to-back -back Bobcat blasts from Jake Madsen and Cody Gartner. One-0 delivery from Gray is hit in a shot to right field. That could be over the fence as well. It is. With two outs, a third home run by Ty Black drove the Bobcats to a 4-1 victory. Back at the track is the left fielder. It's over the wall. That was un that was the funnest game I have ever been a part of, and I've been playing baseball for a lot of years. That was the greatest game I've. That was awesome. Ohio would see a familiar opponent in the semifinal in Bowling Green, and for the first time in the tournament, Ohio would score first. Manny DeJesus had a two RBI single that put the Bobcats on the board first in inning number two. In the third, Tyler Wells ripped another single to bring in a third run for the Bobcats. These runs turned out to be more than the Bobcats needed. Connor Sitz was on the mound for the Bobcats and it turned out to be a historic game in the tournament. Sitz allowed three base runners through the first three frames but none reaching on hits. The Ohio offense only built on their three run lead from a Madsen sack fly, Gartner RBI single, and Mitch Longo's first home run of the tournament. Going into the seventh inning, Sitz had given up no hits and only allowed five base runners. The no-hitter watch was on. In the final three innings, Sitz could not be stopped as he did what no other MAC pitcher had ever done in tournament history. Connor Sitz had thrown the first no-hitter in MAC tournament history to give the Bobcats a chance to win their first MAC title since 1997. Strike three for the first time since 1996. 
It all came down to the final game, the chance to represent the Mid-American Conference in the national tournament for the first time since 1997, and the five-seed Ball State Cardinals stood in the way. Jake Miller would make his second appearance of the tournament and dominate like he did in game one, but started off slow. Down 1-0 in the bottom of the first, Jake Madsen smacked an RBI single to tie up the game. Jake Miller found his groove on the mound, retiring 14 straight, and the offense backed him up. Tyler Wells hit his first home run of the tournament, and Garrett Black followed with a sack fly that gave Ohio a 3-1 lead in the second inning. Then in the third, Ohio exploded for more cushion after Cody Gartner and John Adrian both smacked solo shots to give Ohio a 5-1 lead. 1-0 pitch. There's a fly ball. Hit a ton of the left. I'll see you later. And long, long gone. Ohio's Ty Black hit the team's fourth home run of the game in the sixth inning to give Ohio a 6-1 advantage, and that was more than enough for the green and white. Jake Miller and Logan Cozart paced the defense and pitched Ohio to their first MAC tournament championship since 1997. The Cats dominated the MAC tournament, going a perfect 4-0, hitting eight home runs as a team, and only giving up five runs as a pitching staff the whole tournament. The Bobcats were MAC champions for the first time under Rob Smith and the first time since 1997. Ohio's 2014-2015 season will go down as one of the greatest turnaround seasons in Ohio baseball history. One, two, three. Athens doesn't even know what's coming. Let's go. There's a storm in the road.